Good morning, everyone. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro tracking the tropics for you right here in the Fox 35 Storm Center. We are monitoring two areas with the potential for further development. One feature near the Bahamas. The other is in the Southern Caribbean. Now, I do want to mention that the one off two hours south likely not going to be impacting us, at least in the short term, but I want to take you out to that 30 percenter. Our exclusive Fox model does a great job at showing the area of low pressure that will be skirting just along the east coast of the U.S. and for us here in central Florida. Now it's maybe going to be bringing a few showers possible to the treasure coast as we head throughout the overnight hours tonight but longer term you can see our Fox model does a great job at showing that zipping off to the northeast and basically getting picked up by that cold front that makes its way off the eastern seaboard. Our spaghetti plot models are showing just that, that it starts to move to the north and west and then makes that sharp curve to the northeast. So again, not going to be directly impacting us here in central Florida. But let's take a look at some longer term models in the Caribbean. You can see that we could be seeing something popping up right here and then eventually making its way westward towards Central America. So at least through Saturday, November 4th, that will be staying to the south of Florida. So take a look at our storm name so far this season. We have two names left on this list. It would be Vince and then Whitney. And if we did exhaust this list, we would actually go to a reserve name list, which again, we will always bring you those latest updates on air and online. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist, Allison Gargaro.